a refueling outage for a nuclear uh, generating facility is where we remove some of the nuclear fuel assemblies from our reactor core and we replace them with brand new fuel assemblies that have been manufactured for us. Columbia Generating Station recently began its 21st refueling and maintenance outage. During the outage, 240 of Columbia's 764 fuel assemblies will be replaced with fresh nuclear fuel. The assemblies remain in the reactor for about six years, producing tremendous amounts of clean energy. The process for replacing the assemblies is very detailed and begins about 15 months before the current outage starts. Now that 15 month period is uh, a time frame where we're actively pursuing a new core design is what we call it, where we reuse fuel assemblies and use brand new ones as well. And that also inv it involves personnel here at our plant as well as personnel at a vendor facility, um, another agency that manufactures the fuel. During the outage, a team moves the assemblies in and out of the reactor core from the refueling bridge. A long arm is used to grasp the assembly and move it to its final spot. New fuel to the reactor core and used fuel to the used fuel pool. One outage fuel shuffle can take 1300 moves to complete. The outage is also a time when other maintenance is performed around the facility, maintenance that can't always be done while Columbia is operating. Energy Northwest and about 1,300 temporary workers hired for the outage will perform or support 2,000 work orders involving about 14,000 separate tasks. The outage is coordinated with the Bonneville Power Administration to take place when the springtime snowmelt and runoff maximizes power output from the region's hydroelectric dams. That minimizes the impact of taking Columbia offline.